Good afternoon. Several of my friends have wanted to see our pond now that we've got it up and running. So I'm going to show you how it looks. We've got a little pond on top. This was a pond we had before that Scott set up at the top of the waterfall for this one. I'm going to pan it down a little bit so you can see this is our waterfall. This structure was here when we moved in. It just wasn't running. Scott had to clean it out and buy a new pump. And now we've got it running. So that's the waterfall part. You can see these beams all around right now. Um, that's a project in the works. Scott's going to build a gazebo structure over the top of the pond because we live in the woods and a lot of stuff, pine needles and things, fall in the pond. So he wants to put something over it to kind of protect it. I'm going to back up a little bit here, and then you can see we have a nice little bridge. See if I can get a good shot of that. So there's a nice little bridge over the pond. We painted it to match the house. This is the back end of the pond and all the controls. I've decorated for Halloween, you can see. So I've got a skeleton sitting in a chair over here at this end of the pond. And then right here, that's the master bedroom window there. I'm going to pan over a little bit more and we'll check out the waterfall. There's another shot of the waterfall cascading down. The um, birds and animals here really love this. And we've got some plants that we've brought over from our old place. This is um, Scott's Japanese maple. Really pretty. It is a um, dragon leaf. The Indian girl, um, that was my dad's. That was left to us. He passed away, unfortunately, from cancer a few years back. And he had some cool stuff that I've incorporated into my yard. We have a nice um, creek that flows out of here, too. We've surrounded it with some of our plants. If I can walk over and get another view for everyone. A little bit farther away, maybe. Have to be careful. There's a lot of landscaping in progress here. So I have to be careful not to trip over trenches and things. But this is kind of what the back side of that waterfall looks like. And then you can see this is the front of our house. Once again, I've decorated for Halloween. So you can see those features as well. There's that pond at the top of the other one. we we'll come over here. We have another little pond, also one that we brought over from our old house. This one, we've got uh, mosquito fish living in here. 
The other pond, we put our goldfish in it. So there's five goldfish in there. We'll see when I go back over there if I can catch a shot of them for you. There's a copper fountain I got years ago at a yard sale. Paid three bucks for it because it wasn't running. Got it home. My husband took about apart the pump and cleaned it. Put it back together and it worked just fine. So we've used it at a few houses we've lived in. And birds, especially the hummingbirds, love it. They'll sit right on that top tier and take a shower and a bath in there. So yeah, the wildlife just loves ponds. Let's see if I can maybe find some goldfish. Oh, and I missed this. This isn't the greatest view of it, really. Let me get on the other side. This fountain belonged to my dad. And we got that one up and running. And I've got one of my hibiscus plants next to it. Let's see if we can spot some goldfish. They kind of hide when we turn on the waterfall, so I don't see them right now. It kind of stirs stuff up, too. Yeah, I think they're hiding right now. We don't leave the waterfall pump running all the time just to save on electricity. But it is a beautiful little spot. And thank you for joining me on my little tour.